everybody. I don't know if you guys remember that video that I did about old boats and new boats or something like that. But this is that old boat that only had like this back section and a kind of a old Costco there. But look what they're doing. They're rebuilding that sucker. I can't believe it. It had fiberglass on parts of it, but they're just, uh, I don't know why they wouldn't replace all of this too, but who knows? Not my boat, not my money. <laughs> but you can see they're using these, like this almost looks like a railroad timber, but obviously it's 20 feet long. So I don't know where this timber wood came from. Maybe it's boat stuff, but you can see they're using it here for the cross beams here. See that? That's a heavy, you know, timber. It's definitely old and cracked, and I don't, it looks rotten to me. But obviously, they think it's fine and dandy for doing this, and they got it down there too. But see, they're rebuilding this. This is the old Costco here, so they've cleaned it up as much as they could. Let me see if you can see that down at the base there. They got the old Costco there with fiberglass. You, I can see it. I know you probably can't see it, but they're definitely well on their way to building to repairing this thing wow oh they're putting on the uh the the bow beam or whatever it's called right now oh no they're going to draw it so that it'll fit can you see that i don't know if you can see that they're going to draw the notch where it fits and then they're going to cut it to match that see that they're holding it up here this is the bow beam here. So it's coming out short though. You see that? There's the tip of the boat down there, but this bow beam is coming out to right here. Well, maybe they'll just have a flat spot out there. A flat ply that we would. These guys are doing uh, fish traps here next door to it. But see, he's, he's marking the shape that they gotta cut that one out to to set in that notch there you see this is the notch right here and it sets down in there and epoxy and then they i don't know if they screw it or bolt it or what but somehow that locks it in place you're gonna lose all this everybody here is going to pick it up and set it down and now they got a pencil mark there of the shape that they got to cut and then they'll take saws and chisels and that and make it make it the right shape see here's one too here this one here has already been cut some here for the bow i don't know what they're using that for but anyway they're going to do what are they going to do here they're trying to move it they're going to have to get it out of here basically and get it up and maybe upside down so they can start sawing it they're going to have to flip it or set it up on something it's heavy I don't know what kind of wood that it is. I don't think it's Jimelina. It may be... Um... Yeah, ask them what kind of wood is that. Oh, okay. This is uh, Tugas wood. T-U-G-A-S. That's, uh, that's a good uh, wood for boats. And as you can see, we got a bunch of boats there. So basically, they're building Noah's Ark. Yeah. See? They're putting new wood on it. See, all this, all this was gone. It was cracked off way back there, and the whole front end was completely gone. If you look at my vids, you know, you'll see. Yeah, see. They're gonna. They're pushing this one here out so that it lines up with the the outside here so they're hammering it there to to bow this this piece of wood out and uh so they i think they're repurposing some old well this wood looks new here but it's got blue paint which is odd uh, usually i don't know no, there's their epoxy that they mixed up there that they're uh uh epoxying all the wood into the joints and stuff with here now see now we're getting flush well past flush here and so that's how they make it bow. They put a wood over there to brace it, not the boat's wood, but an additional piece of wood there to 
from and see from the top down to there. And then they put their two by three there and then they hammer it and push this side out to get it the right shape. And then they nail it. See like here, like here's a big nail here. And they'll nail that, that in and that locks it in and then they just work their way down doing that. Let's see, he's gonna lock it in right there. Now the interesting thing is that's just a steel nail, which when you're making a smaller bone and you're putting the wood on the side, you usually go with a, like a copper nail. Oh no, I take that back. That's a copper nail. I mean, I mean, I mean a bronze nail. Bronze. Uh, copper won't last out here, and brass will not last in uh, salt water bronze. Brass, I found out, has got zinc in it, and the zinc doesn't do well in the salt water but bronze doesn't and I don't know what the exact mixture of metals is to make bronze yeah, yeah and what's that it's the owner. Uh, okay what's it going to cost to uh, yeah, rebuild four hundred now Right oh, okay, so it's 400 now, but then you're gonna, how much more does he think? Total? Yeah, so about 500,000 total. We'll be, get it all done. Yeah. Yeah, uh, how did the how front part get no get missing? Was well, it a storm or something? Of the storm. Storm. Ursula. Oh, oh, okay. Storm Ursula. Yeah. Oh, during Christmas, right? Yeah, yeah. The one that was Christmas Eve. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Christmas Eve, 90 mile an hour winds destroyed this thing. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Where'd they get this wood here? This big wood. Ah, uh, long time ago he have it. Uh, okay, what was it for? Just, it's just some wood that he had? Yeah, what kind of wood is, is that? He don't know about that. He have that long time ago. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, we've got some, you know, Jim Molina wood that's kind of old, too. Let's see what kind of plywood he's using. Yeah. They got these ones tied up with these ropes here. And then they they let that one out so this thing could go back. So apparently they wanted to nail this end in but not the center yet. Yeah, here's their here's their uh, bronze nails in that thing right there. That's that's their bucket of giant bronze nails. Honey, what? Honey, what are you saying? He's asking me where where we where we live. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, well, we on the beach, right? Yeah, then where right. where the muse music is? Yeah. Yeah, the, where the music is, mm -hmm. right? Right now, yeah, that's our beach that we rent, and then we own the property on that side. Yeah, tell him if he needs a, a beach to rent, you know, we'll give him a discount. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what is this boat used for? Is this for fishing? Uh, what kind of fishing? Net or, or long line or what do they use? Net. Net? Uh, okay, so this is a net fishing boat. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, well, you ready to go, honey? All right, well, we're going to wrap it up here, but you see you can resurrect a boat that a typhoon has torn up. You just start uh, cleaning.
cleaning up the old wood and hammering on new wood and voila, you got yourself a new boat. Or at least the three-fourths of a new boat. That's a pretty big boat. Yeah, how, how long is this boat? That thing sucker is huge. I mean, I don't know if you've seen back there, but let me see. Uh, that boat is 40... 40 feet? Yeah, 40 feet. Oh, okay. And then the other ends is be another 20, and back there is another 10, and 10, 20. So about. This is a feet. Yeah, yeah, about 60 feet long is this boat. And he's repairing it for about, I think he said 500,000. He's at about 400,000 right now. So it's a fishing boat, and they use it for um, net fishing. Okay. Uh, well, folks, that is how you repair a boat. That, I mean, only this section was here. All the rest of this was totally destroyed, all the way up except for the Costco, the bottom, the um, dugout kind of canoe hole. And uh, they're just redoing the whole Everybody, bank. So. Give you the kind of the walk around here. So again, this is the front of the boat, and this is the back of the boat. It's about 60 feet long total the Costco from the down there hopefully I got the light good from down there to the front of the tree so they had to get a 40 foot tree that's big enough and wide enough to make that hole that dugout canoe style hole with and then but that was years ago I should I should have asked him how old the boat was huh? yeah I asked him how old is this boat and ask him how oh, oh okay but anyway, this is the walk around. So they're just taking all the bad stuff off and putting on new stuff on. Now this is fiberglass on the bottom lower portion here. Uh, old or was. I don't know what he's going to do now. If he's going to epoxy and paint or if he's going to fiberglass the thing again. But you can see they're just putting big 4 by 8 sheets of plywood on here. Working their way down. This looks like a 4 by 8 that looks like a 4 by 7 or 6 so it, it's got to line up with their uh, ribs, which should be, I think they're about a foot apart. Yeah, I think they're about one foot apart. So you should be able to get an 8 foot board in there. And then this way, all the way down to the end where they haven't redone it. Here's the where the old Costco ended right there and then they splice in a piece to here and now they're splicing in a bigger piece un under it and into it here and then they got the big uh and i don't know what this is called i know there's a boat name for it but this is where the bow uh runner goes the center of the, the, the bow and it's going to go up to right there and then from there out, they're going to have just plywood on top and curving around somehow. I don't know, but it's going to go all the way out to there. So, this is how you resurrect a boat that has been destroyed in a typhoon. And again, I don't know how old this boat is. I wish I knew. Because uh, there's Sunset Beach down there. We got a party going there now that we're renting for uh, somebody's party. They got their karaoke machine going. They out there at 9 o'clock this morning karaokeing already. <laughs> so anyway, there's another boat. That's kind of like a smaller version of this boat. This boat is probably another 10 or 15 feet longer than that one. I think that's a 40-foot boat. And this is probably, a, well, 60 is what he's saying. So anyway, we got beautiful ocean today all these are the uh this pink boats here these this is a german guy's boats uh, he's got a fish thing the other boats there that's the uh, uh dried fish business that i told you about she's got nine boats so who knows how many of these boats out there are hers but she's got nine boats the german guy's got uh, three uh, her uh, boyfriend is uh dutch so uh they're doing a booming business on Italian Island with dried fish. And we will, you can see, we're in the middle of Boat Central. They're everywhere. Everywhere. And there's places where there's even more boats than this. I, I mean, it's like a boat, I don't know, parking lot. What you, I don't know what you call, call it. But down there, you can see them all, all the way down, all the way around to the tip of the 
island that goes out there. So what we're going to do is we will leave you guys with a picture of the ocean and a bunch of boat kids are out there playing in the water. This guy's bringing his catch in now. So and there'll be people over there that can run up up there. That oh that may be the the dried fish guy, uh, one of her workers, one of her boat boatmen there pulling up with, with a load. They come in all hours of the day, you know what time they go out and how far they have to go out and that kind of thing. So we will leave you leave you with a picture of the boats at the beach from my paradise on Italian Island.